Joseph Carr, before we talk about your brand, Josh Sellers, why don't you tell me about the link between wine and purchasing wine and the economy? Well, it's, a, it's an interesting proposition because as the economy goes up, people drink wine. And when the economy goes down, people drink wine. And probably the only, um, the only downside is maybe when there is a down economy, luxury brands, super luxury brands might suffer a bit. But for the most part, people are always going to keep drinking wine. Well, Josh Sellers is the fastest growing brand for wines over $10 a bottle. Your first vintage actually came out in 2009, which was not a great year for the economy. Why don't you talk about how, you grow, how you've grown the business since then? Well, our first vintage, uh, I made 1,000 cases of wine, and I sold it out of the back of my truck. It was a brand that I named after my dad. And I took it to restaurants and to wine shops, mostly in New England. And we got this following because people, people realized that it was an authentic story. It was a story about myself and my relationship with my father and, and a tribute to my dad. Um, it's a very competitive landscape out there, so you've got to keep knocking on the doors and, and getting the word out. And how do you get the word out? Do you use social media? Because it's a tremendously fractured industry, lots of little wine companies out there. So how do you get your name above all the rest? Well, we use uh, social media, uh, Facebook and Instagram, but we also, we're partners with a very large uh, wine importing marketing company called Deutsch Family. And we initiated with them one of the largest digital marketing campaigns last year, more than uh, any um, wine brand in, in the country. And it was remarkable where you would see it in, um, you know, uh, Times Square and um, um, Grand Central Station and, and on the Internet, on Netflix, uh, it would come up and uh, places like that. It was exciting. But now, actually, you are competing against a lot of large players, including folks like Constellation Brands. So talk about how you raise your game to compete against those type of people. It's, you know, on, on such a high level, it's very difficult. It's a competitive landscape. We're very fortunate. Uh, the Deutsch family um, has been in this business for a long time and can sit with the wholesale community where we have really deep relationships. Uh, from a distribution standpoint, we can stand alongside Constellation and the wine group and put our products uh, in the marketplace. You've got to get the distribution, you've got to get the display, you've got to get the trial. And that's the success of the Deutsches marketing, uh, marketing group. And are millennials drinking wine? I know they're into craft beer. I keep hearing about craft beer. What about wine? Well, I happen to have this millennial that lives with me, who's my daughter. Actually, she just left. And I've been watching millennials over the years. And they do. They drink uh, craft beer and they love wine. They like, uh, they want to know about it. They want to know whether it's authentic, uh, the story behind it. You know, they're interested in price, but they're also interested in what's behind the brand. Uh, and our story and our wines resonate both in the price and in the story. So, yeah, I think we're very, very successful with millennials. All right, we're going to watch it. Thanks for coming on, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you for watching the street.